Hey guys, it's Sprout here and welcome back to the channel. Now I'm on last slide here, as you know, the, the closed beta test is going to end in about six days time. I thought I'd bring you a live commentary the way exactly I play. I'm going to go for a stealth gameplay on Hilltop Villa solo. I'll just give you a quick overview of me loadout before I get started. So I go for the SCF 58, which is my favourite gun. I've actually ran out of money, otherwise I'll put a... Oh no, I can I put a bigger magazine on that because I do like the bigger one. So, with the basic optical sights on, I've got a suppressor, which is quite expensive expressor, suppressor, sorry, and obviously the magazine. So that's that. And my favourite sniper rifle has got to be the Mosin Nagant with an 8x scope and suppressor. I'm just going to quickly ensure that magazine. I'm running out of money now, as you can see. That's why I've got a terrible backpack, but I have went for tier 5 armor and tier 5 helmet. I always take a full stocked first aid kit on me person, and I usually bring food, drink, and a couple more med kits along with us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump into a solo hilltop villa, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Oh, here we go guys. Now what I like to do at the start of every match is hide somewhere while the lag settles out. I use my aim a couple of times just to make sure it's not lagging because obviously with a closed beard that sometimes it happens. Now I've spawned in a decent place here but there is a couple of spawns near us. There's one over here and there's one over there. So I like to let people move a bit first before I move and try and stick to the outskirts. I'm going to re reload my sniper rifle because that's what I'm going to use for most of my shots if I can help it. You can hear quite a lot of people shooting at the moment. Now I'm going to take my time obviously because I want to keep a hold of my stamina. And I'm going to try to stick to high ground if possible. Let's watch for marauders around this bit. Because they're usually all over the shop. But the view that I go to some other's none yet. Now I've got a certain place I like to hang about on this map, which is the hill opposite that extraction point. Now I didn't bring a signal jammer with us because I never use them. I never escape there. I always go for the other one. I find that one too exposed. You get sniped at that one very easily. Push up the yeah. and Someone's coming right here. I think he's on the hill here. Not sure. It might be the sniper up top actually. I can't currently see him. Sometimes see him through the there he is. Hit him by him, kill him. He was shooting that direction, so there could be somebody over there. What I tend to do is I just go up back and forth on this hill, try and shoot as many people as I can with a sniper before I go to the extract. Because right now all I want is experience. I'm not bothered about loot as such. If I get the chance to loot somebody, I will. But I'm mainly going for kills. Someone's got their pistol out. You can even hit fire it and it's quite accurate. I have a feeling he had a shotgun, he did. We had we had we had a decision to bring a shotgun. He did his once. I was watching people looting these crates here. Just ten, nine times out of ten, if someone's looting, they'll stand still. <clears throat> and from the angle over here, you can usually get a headshot. I 
was just lucky in a way that I was paying attention when that guy ran up there because he could have got the jump on us. Another thing, watch for people extracting because they can come from either direction. And sometimes you can just turn around and just quickly headshot someone. I don't think they're extracting there. No, they're at the other one. It's always the case that when you camp one, people extract at the other one. What I tend to avoid is the hill over there, like the sniper, the sniper rock area. Thankfully these snipers don't do too much damage to you, but the people who are there in the sniper rock area is where the headshots really come from, I think, it's most of the cases where they kill you from, like, <coughs> they'll camp there the whole game, popping people as they run past or whatever. So what I've started to find recently is people teaming on solos but like three or four people at once and they're all using proximity chat. Which isn't tied up to them. Just don't want to get caught right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move position now. I'm going to push the other hill. So obviously the game's getting on now. Now it's just I don't want to spend the whole game killing just the sniper that appears on that roof. Make me way closer to the extraction point. I'm trying to avoid golf course if I can. Because it's a death trap. Not many marauders kicking about like is there? There's someone there. He pushed in me, I can't see a thing. I got him. Brought his armour. I did hit him, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, change position because he'll have known what direction it came from. He's got a sniper, he might spot me before I spot him. Inside of there. Do I push him or not? Do you think I should? I think he's still in that container, like. Yeah, he's still there. I can see he's. him sticking through a bit. I think he's still there. He might have moved. Ooh, Vanguard voucher. Gold diamond ring. When he has skint, you know, all this stuff really adds up. I think he might have made a run for it. No, he's still there. Laggard. Really? Really? <sighs> really? Well, guys, that's what happens sometimes on the CB. T, it just does a split second lag where it doesn't let you do anything and someone kills you. It's unfortunate, especially when you're skin like me, but I, mean, I got three kills, one headshot, and I've lost half a million worth of gear. I might get it back on insurance, I might not, but that's how I play it. I don't usually push like that. I would have usually waited for him, but I, I didn't expect it to lag like that, so unfortunately it happened. Uh, so guys, I'm going to end the video here anyway, because obviously I've died, so thanks for watching. If you do enjoy the video, please do hit that like button. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button when Open Beta releases or the full release. I will be doing a hardcore series, so make sure you check that out when it comes. Right, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.